Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing a longtime Vegas musical institution, the Dive Bar. This place specializes in loud music, cheap booze, and questionable decor, so get ready to rock! You all signed the waiver, right? It's hard to believe it's taken me this long to review this Vegas musical icon, but here we are. I was mainly there to show support to longtime friends of the channel, Crimson Riot, but I also wanted to check out local acts, Fun Killers, and Suburban Resistance, plus the touring act Glitter Trash from LA. I hadn't been inside the proudly named dive bar since before the pandemic started, but I thought I knew what awaited me inside. Dark and dingy decor with decades of Vegas musical history on its walls, a poorly lit stage and cranky Scottish sound guy, bathrooms with a legendary amount of band stickers, and speakers that will make you regret not wearing earplugs. For the most part, I could not have been more wrong. First thing I noticed was the blessed air conditioning. Let us all take a moment to thank Willis Carrier, the man responsible for this necessity for desert living. The next thing I noticed was the eclectic music pumping through the sound system, mostly country and western, with a sporadic rock song of various genres peppered in. Gave a surreal vibe to a punk show. Admittedly, the part of the bar by the front door was still dark. Once my eyes adjusted, I noticed a few things. The decor had changed a bit, for one thing. Uh, one of my favorite things was a bicycle on the wall. That was gone. The Angry Scotsman was gone, and a proper sound booth with two sound people using iPads as audio mixers was in his place. The stage was well lit, and for some reason there were barricades set up in front of it. How crazy was this show expected to get? The bar was lit well enough, and there was enough staff to get a drink in a relatively short amount of time throughout the night. Of course, one of the best parts of coming to a place called The Dive Bar is that drinks are cheap. I was pleasantly surprised at the end of the night with my tab, and believe me, I had a good time. As I mentioned before, the music playing through the house system made things a little weird. Suddenly, the most vulgar, obscenity-laden, hardcore punk song started playing. Magically, it was a punk show! The band sets averaged 40 minutes, with locals fun killers opening the show. Lots of yelling, lots of attitude, lots of head bopping, they set the tone perfectly for punk night. Their songs were short but sweaty, and I'm looking forward to having them on the channel. Next was Crimson Riot. Per singer Roxy Gunn, this is the first time they've had two albums of material to craft a set from. Came out swinging with Gatekeeper. After whipping the crowd into a frenzy, they moved on to You Kill Me. You can see my review of their last album, uh, It Took an Apocalypse, here. They proceeded to blast through as many songs as possible before their set time ran out. Minds were alone that night. Next, out-of-town band Glitter Trash hit the stage. As most musicians know, playing last usually means less people in the crowd, which translates to less new fans and less merch sold. Suburban Resistance took the really cool route of switching places with the touring act to help them out. Glitter Trash are actually label mates with Crimson Riot on Die Laughing Records. Visiting from LA, this band had a look straight out of Hollywood. In a set filled with dramatic posing by a platinum blonde in studded leather to solid punk songs played as loud as possible, their sound was somewhere between hardcore punk and the Ramones. Lots of energy and attitude from these folks. The crowd loved them. Like I said, Suburban Resistance finished up the night. This band is old school punk. Deceptively complicated music that the remaining crowd loved. Surprisingly, the band had an almost full floor to play to, and their singer took full advantage of it. Punk crowds stayed for the whole show. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and that you'll check out the dive bar over in Chinatown in Vegas next time you have a chance. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to be on the channel, there's a link down in the description. If you'd like to support the channel, room6.shop or Patreon. Um, remember to be amazing. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a great day and see you next time in room six.